It's the time of year for Christmas trees, Kwanzaa traditions, the symbolic Hanukkah menorah, a time to eat, drink, and be merry. A time to celebrate one of the most brilliant and forgiving inventions of the 20th century. A time for stretch fabrics. Think about it. You're eating, drinking, and merrily noshing on Christmas cookies as you bake them. Well, that's what I do anyway. And unless you have a tremendously fast metabolism, your body is probably expanding. So when it's time to dress up and hit those parties, aren't you grateful that you have the option of putting on something with some give? Can you imagine life without stretch? Yet there was a time when it wasn't readily available. A suit with a built-in girdle. But after painstaking years of research, in 1959, spandex and lycra were introduced to the market. Spandex, by the way, is an anagram of the word expands. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Stretch fabrics first found life in swimsuits, bras and girdles, dancewear, and athletic garments, and then into the extreme fashions of the 1970s. Both Jane Fonda and Olivia Newton-John stretched with stretch. Let's get to physical. And who could forget the salad days of stretchy roller disco fashions? <laughs> Thankfully, that look died. Enter Spanx, this century's version of a girdle. There's even Manx for men, called compression garments. <laughs> Sounds more macho, I guess. You can see it's really like hugging him. In a country with 68% of us obese or overweight, Spanx and its cousins have expanded, pun intended, <laughs> into a $770 million industry. Now the stretch is everywhere. Even as little as 1% of the spandex lycra family in dresses, suits, skirts, jeans, and leggings can allow women of all sizes to wear something that's flattering that gently hugs you instead of giving you the oversized tent effect. And to that, I say glory, hallelujah. In truth, stretch fabric knows no season, but at this time of the year, many of us are especially grateful for a little wiggle room.